Now look, as you know, I think that women should have a right to our own spaces without any anxiety about the presence of biological men who merely identify as women. This is not to deny the rights of trans people to be treated with respect and consideration, just to affirm that women's rights must be respected. That's why I've always been dismayed at the way the Victorian Liberal leader John Pesuto has responded to Upper House MP Moira Deeming, linking her with neo-Nazis and expelling her from the Liberal Parliamentary Party Room just because a women's rights rally that she helped organise was gatecrashed by extremists. Now, understandably enough, Deeming has wanted to clear her name and to rejoin the party room to which she was elected as a Liberal. All along, though, Pizzuto has been resisting, even though this issue has stoked divisions inside the Victorian Liberal Party room. It's caused a donors' strike and it's generated strong support for deeming amongst the party's rank-and-file members who want their party on the side of women and MPs like deeming who give a voice to the voiceless. Now, full disclosure, from time to time, I've offered Moira advice as she sought to rejoin the party room to which she was elected. And I have encouraged her for some eight months now to work inside official party processes, to work behind the scenes, not through the media, not through the courts, to try and resolve this issue and avoid a public stoush with the Victorian Liberal leader. Despite everything thrown at her, Moira Deeming has tried her best to do that. And over the weekend, finally, there was a face-to-face -face meeting between John Pizzuto and his expelled backbencher. But the meeting broke down, I gather, because Pizzuto still won't have her back in the party room, even though he admits she's not a neo-Nazi, and even though that was the original reason for expelling her. Now, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But that's where he's at behind in the polls and still unable to fully admit he got it wrong and to make amends. Now, because of this pig-headedness, this week, Deeming's defamation action will now go ahead, meaning that for months, if not years, the Victorian Liberals won't be fighting the worst Labor government in the country. They'll be fighting amongst themselves and spending a lot of money through the courts. All because John Pizzuto won't be the bigger man and welcome back into the party room someone who was expelled under false pretenses. False pretenses, I might add, is privately willing to admit but isn't man enough to fix. Honestly, is it any wonder that Daniel Andrews could quit as Premier and John Pizzuto can still go backwards by 13 points in the very next poll? In the by-election over the weekend, Labor managed to hang on to Andrew's seat of Mulgrave, but recorded a 10-point swing against them, on top of the 13 points that Labor lost last year. The problem is that swing against Labor didn't end up with the Liberals. Is it any wonder that voters are disillusioned and any wonder that so many rank-and-file Liberals are so angry?